All right, what's going on, people? So I'm gonna solve this problem, uh, single number two, and I'm gonna show how to solve it with bit manipulation. Uh, and this is kind of like a trivia problem I figured out. So, um, so basically what you do is, um, because you're taking a single number in um, of this array, and if a number appears three times, you don't want that. You wanna find the one number that appears just once. So here's three, here's a 99. So to do this, you kind of can think, um, there is another problem that's called single number one, where you were, instead of a, a, a numbers appearing three times, numbers would appear two times. And for that, you could use, you use this one idea. So use a similar idea here, but basically what you, the idea that you're using is, if we take this, the basic idea that you're gonna use is you can use bit manipulation to create a base three. And why do you wanna use a base three? Because in base three, the numbers that you have is zero, one, and two. That way, when you look at the bits, all the bits that are on will be the bits that are equal to one, right? So like, like let's say this might be, well, for my answer up here, if you look at this example, this is the only um, one that has these ones on. So this answer should be 00011, right? Um, so those bits that are on, which means they're equal to one, those are the bits this is the number that you know appeared just once. So like if I do this example, um, whenever you get a two, you're gonna carry it over. So using mod three, if I go through this example, it looks like taking zero, one, zero. Um, and then the first thing you do is, um, that's your first number. So you say, okay, this is what I currently have. Then you get your next number. And then when you take, take the next number, you want to increment the bits. So you add up the bits. But now you're like, well, this one is now a two here. Um, so because this bit has appeared two times and then you go again and now it has appeared three times. But whenever a bit appears three times, if we're going to use uh, mod three, three divided by um, three is zero. So and also in a sense, this is just a base three. You're using a base three. Because uh, a base 2, you have a 0 and 1, and then it carries over. So you don't have a 2. Instead, a 2 is a 0. It goes back to the start. So here it's the same thing. So it's like a 0, 1, and 3, 3. Uh, I said I skipped 2, didn't I? 0, 1, 2, and 3 carries back over to a 0. So this will, get back, this will go back to a 0. This one will be a 1. And then for the final one, you're going to add the 1 here. And then you end up getting basically the answer for the 1s. So this kind of makes sense, right? Because if you have a number that appears three times, you're going to add up its bit three times. And whenever you add up a bit three times, it's going to be equal to zero in base three system. Um, and if you add it a fourth time, because like that number, that bit actually appears in the number that appears just once, then you're going to still have that one. Um, if it only appears once, you know, you're just going to have a one there. Now to be able to do this with bit manipulation, you need to have a way to hold what numbers are equal to one and what numbers are equal to two. Because the main idea is that you're going to promote, you're going to promote from zeros to ones, it, that is, and then you're going to promote uh, from ones to twos, right? So like if if you see this bit for the first time, you see a one and it's a zero, you're going to promote it to a one. If you see that's a one and you see that the number you're currently looking has a one there, you're going to promote it to two. The last promotion is a promote um, twos to zeros. So that's the going back. Um, in the cycle in base three, Car this is the carryover. So let's see. So how I do this is, you you want to keep track of your ones and your twos. Um. Mm, so for instance, for this example, my ones was zero zero one zero, and then after I get the, well, I'll just go through each number. So so when x is equal to 0, 0, 1, 0. you have this and then when you take the next x from the array it's going to be 1 equals and you have um well this 1 is going to be promoted to 2 so you're going to set oops yeah, no i messed that up okay so you have set this one equal to 0 um, and then in the 2 you'll have 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 because now that one's a 2 okay and then if you go x equals, you go to the next number, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. Um, now you're gonna, for one, you're gonna promote, um, 
you're going to promote some of these to 1. So, for instance, this is your first time seeing this one. So you can promote it from 0 to 1. So you have this. And then 2 is you're going to promote um, the one that you had there to 0. So this should just be 0. And you take x equals 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. And now the 1 will be you're going to promote uh, this one to 1, right? Yeah, you're going to promote this one to 1. Uh, and 2, it's still going to be 0, 0, 0. Okay, which I think yeah, 2 should always end up just being 0, 0, 0 because you only have one number um, that appears once. That means the, the, there's bits that should be on, but they shouldn't be equal to 2. Um, because if it's equal to 2, that means that bit has appeared 2 times, but you need every bit to appear 3 times, so it's always going to be reset back to 0. So 2 will always be 0 at the end, and 1 will be e equal to the answer. So how do you do bit manipulation? So you need to, so to compute 1, right? So first off to compute 1, what we need to compute is we need to find what, um, what, uh, how do you say it? You want to find what, um, what values are already 1, so you probably want to take the previous one. Um, and you want to figure out which ones are promoted, right? So first thing you want to figure out is which ones are you going to promote from 1s to 2s? So like, these ones you're not going to do. And a way to do this is to basically look at your x compared to 1. So get you compute this 1 in common. Um, and the 1 in common would be like taking 1 x or with uh, x, right? Because because what is x or going to do? x or is it's going to take all the bits that are equal to 1. Like um, if the bits are, uh, I can't say it. So if a bit in a certain place is equal to 1 and 1 and it's equal to 1 and x, when you do x or 1 and 1's cancel and they're equal to 0. So this will turn off any bits that are on and 1. That's not what I want to do though. <laughs> I want to actually do and. I want to find the ones in common, right? I say in common. So I want to check which bits are on. And those bits that are on are the bits that I would use in my one in common. And those bits will be on. Okay, so that makes, so okay, so that, that would work there. And then, so once you have the bits that are in common that are on, then when you go down to this one, you want to basically take those bits that are common and x or because this is where you want to take bits that were already on in one and they're on in the common one as well, which means they're in x they're on. You want to basically um, x or those. So like let's just take an example. So let's take let's say one is equal to zero zero one zero and then we, our x is gonna be equal to zero zero <laughs> one zero. Okay. So oh let me make it more interesting. Let me make a one. So that, that way I, I'm doing this because I want to promote one. Uh, so what's going to happen is we get one in common by getting the common zero, common bit there on, which is this one. Um, and if you x or these two, um, notice how it's going to take this one and this one and set them equal to zero. So you're going to update your one to be zero zero zero. But this is not exactly what you want as your final answer because yes, that took care of what you're promoting from ones to twos because it's not going to be in your one anymore. Um, but you also need to set this last bit on because it's on in the X. So you, how would you do this? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Do you use X or? I think you use X. You okay? So you have to do this. So you need to figure out this last bit here. It's on here, right? <laughs> um, I think to figure the last bit, we need to understand two. So let's do two. So two, and we're gonna create two in common. So two in common is gonna be the same thing, right? You wanna find out which bits are on and two already um, to get the two in common. So once you get the two in common, uh, let's say, let's say two is equal to zero. Oh, shoot. Uh, one, zero, this is a bad example though. Um, so let's say 2 is equal to that, so then 2 in common is actually going to be equal to 0, 0, 0. Um, so then <laughs> your new 2 is going to be the same thing. But that's just because you didn't promote any 1s from the 2s to 1s. But, um, but you know, but it, you can think here that if you were to do the promotion, you want to do X or. That is, any bits that are already on in 2, you want to turn them off in 2. 
So we'll do this. So the X or will say any twos are on. Okay. So any, any, any bits are on in the common. Um, you want to set them on in the two here. Um, um, that he's having in common. So for instance, for these two, they don't have anything in common. So you're not really when you X or it's not going to turn anything off. Um, but then you also want to figure out. Uh, so that gives you which ones you promoted from two to zeros. But you also want to figure out which ones are being promoted from ones to twos. Um, and I mean, basically any one that you had in common is what you want to promote, right? So like, we had. One in common, we had this one one, right? So we actually want to promote this one and make this a one zero because now this one that's in common, it, we already had one of it. Oh my gosh, we already had one of it in the one bits, but now we're going to upgrade it to two. So it's like this example here. It's like it was one, but now we want to put it into the twos. So we would do or because if you want to turn a bit on, use or, and we want to turn it on based off the one common. Okay, so now for one, for one. We need to figure out how to turn our bits on. Um, the real trick is to basically take your X and do this. So take X and do OR with one common and XOR with two common. <clears throat> because what this will do is any of the one bits that are on that were in common are going to be turned off. Any of the two bits that were in common that were already on is going to be turned off in X. So you're going to end up with a result that leaves just the number that <clears throat> is not in the ones or the twos which means it's in the zeros and you want to promote that to this so you want to set these on so right so use it uh, or there so one c or two c two c okay so now i'm going to try to actually code this so i'll go back up here um and i'm gonna have to do four num and num and then do one common will equal num and one and two common equals num and two and then one will equal <laughs> just forgot what I did. Yeah so one XOR looks X or which is one with common and then turn this on X XOR one common XOR two common and then 2 will be equal to 2 XOR 2 common and then you want to turn on the ones that are in 1 common <clears throat> okay uh, and then it's good having these numbers here I should initialize these or does it matter uh, no it should be good and then you want to return 1 I think this will work <laughs> I think this might work because um did I miss something? Do I have to... Hmm... Yeah, local variable one reference one. That's true. Okay, I was thinking that was going to happen. So maybe we should set one and two equal to zero and zero initially. Yeah. <laughs> X. Why did I use X? Why did I use X? Because I used X below. But I used num here. Okay. Cool. And I'll submit this. I want to compare it to my runtime previously, so I had 172 milliseconds. Yeah, it's pretty fast. Yeah, it's, it's as fast as these solutions where I didn't use Bitwise, but I used something else. But also, notice the memory is way better though, so you improve memory. Um, because we're using constant time complexity, or space complexity. So it's constant space complexity, atomic time complexity. So that is what they're hinting, 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 at, hinting at here when they say, the yeah, algorithm should have linear time, run time complexity. Can you use do it without using extra memory? And here you're doing it without using extra memory. I'm not storing anything in an array or anything like that. Time complexity, of course, is still O of n because you still have to run through a linear scan through the nums. But um, other than that, though, it worked out. There's one more thing I wanted to say. So, like, going back to the basic the idea, the basic idea is you're using a base three system, and you're gonna promote from zeros to ones, and that's what you're doing here. So here are your ones. Right here, you're promoting anything that's a zeros to a ones. That is, it was a zeros previously in the ones and the twos, right? It doesn't exist in the ones or the twos that are in common with the num. Those are the zeros you want to promote to one. And then you want to promote ones to twos, which is what you do here, right? Because you're going to turn on any of the ones that are in common. 
with the num because you're like, oh, well, that, that num appeared again. I want to promote it to twos. And you want to promote any twos to zeros, uh, which is what you do right here. This x or is going to promote any twos to zeros um, by turning them off. Like, that's how you promote a twos to zeros by turning it off. Also, when you're promoting ones to twos, you also have to turn them off here. So you have to turn them off, um, and then you have to turn on the bits that are existing as zeros. And here you have to turn off oh i guess this is a better way to say this too i just realized so what you're really doing is um you, you like the best way to think about bitwise man manipulation is what they're doing so this one is basically going to turn off any ones that are on it in both of the numbers so you're going to turn off anything that you're really going to be promoting from a ones to twos that's what this step does here and then this step is turning on anything that was already at the zeros because it's not in the ones in common or the twos in common so it means it just exists in the num so you want to turn those on and then here you're doing this two x or with two that, that's basically saying you're promoting some of the twos to zeros and then you're turning it on based off the one in common which is part of the promoting ones to twos because you need to update two uh so yeah so that's pretty much this problem it's kind of like um a good problem to learn bitwise manipulation to understand how X or can turn off bits if it's on in both of them um, and um, a good way to use X or and and is a good way to use just to see what bits are common uh, or check what bits are on I guess um, yeah cool yo